O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear friends, to worthily celebrate the sacred mystery, let us call to mind our saints and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my part, through my part, to my most grievous part. Therefore I have blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented, Would that we had meat for food. We remember the fish we used to eat without cost in Egypt, and the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now we are famished. We see nothing before us but this manna. Manna was like coriander seed and had the color of resin. When they had gone about and gathered it up, the people would grind it between millstones or pound it in a mortar, then cook it in a pot and make it into loaves, which tasted like cakes with oil. At night when the dew fell upon the camp, the manna also fell. When Moses heard the people, family after family, crying at the entrance of their tents, so that the Lord became very angry, he was grieved. Why do you treat your servants so badly, Moses asked the Lord. Why are you so displeased with me that you burden me with all this people? Was it I who conceived all this people? Or was it I who gave birth to them? that you tell me to carry them at my bosom like a, fo- like a foster father carrying an infant to the land you have promised under oath to their fathers? Where can I get meat to give all this people? For they are crying to me, give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all this people by myself, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once so that I no longer face this distress. The word of the Lord. Sing with joy to God our help. My people heard not my voice and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked according to their own counsels. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, 
Quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes I would turn my hand. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their fate would endure forever. While Israel I would feed with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. According to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But he said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and two fish. And looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragment left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Moses in scripture is described as the most, the meekest man on earth. That even the meekest can be drawn or pushed to the wall. We can see that sometimes our humanity comes to the fore when we face uh, difficulty. And there is sort of like a lament on the part of Moses, lamenting to God of how the people have, you know, pushed him to the wall. Sometimes when we have problem with leadership, we do have problem with followership as well. What was the problem of the people of Israel? You'll be surprised to to think that even as far back as 3,000 years ago, people will have preference of what they want to eat as far as food is concerned. But in our own age and time, even as we speak, there are some persons in some parts of the world who might not even be sure of having a breakfast today. Surprise us to know that. But the problem of the people of Israel back then was that they were tired of eating manna. In fact, they gave preference for slavery than to freedom 
they gave preference more to meat, to garlic, than to their freedom. Why would I not be too quick to blame them? This is human nature. And hungry, a hungry person is an angry person. But corporately, they were angry because they were eating a particular meal. The dear friends, the lesson to learn from this is more of counting our blessings. Whatever it is we see that God gives to us, to always be thankful. To always be thankful. In our gospel reading of today, we see Jesus, even when he's mourning the death of his mentor, John the Baptist was just killed by Herod. Instead of Jesus mourning deeply, he still was seeking with compassion for those who were in need. When we read the Gospels, in the three synoptic Gospels, it was the disciples who shared the meal. But in John's Gospel, Jesus shared the meal. Jesus knew that at some point he would have to leave his disciples, but he incorporated them into that mission of distributing as well. There's a lesson to learn from that. You remember the disciples were going to give excuses. Send them away. Let them go find food for themselves. Jesus said, have them see. Give them something to eat. It shows that out of scarcity, God can make abundance out of, that, out of that. And you and I are invited also to become agents of generosity. To have time to give to the poor. Jesus says there will always be the poor amongst us. We still have the poor in our society. We still have the poor in the world. Those who today might not be sure of having breakfast. You and I might be sure of that. There are still people in the world, people in our society who might not be sure of that. And when we thank God for what God has given to us, let us be generous enough too to give. As tiny, as little, it could be time. It could be our talent. It could be our treasure. But Jesus invites us to also become an agent of generosity. Let us rise. Knowing that God provides for our every need, we bring our prayers together with one voice for the church in its ministry to those who hunger. May God continue to pour out his abundant grace. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world and for the salvation of souls, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are hungry or face food insecurity, may the Lord meet their needs and bring us to respond with compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, May God help us encourage one another in faith through our prayers and presence. Let us pray to the Lord. For Patricia, Patricia Zentai, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may God's life lead them to his everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. In silence, let us have our own personal intention. We ask our Mother Mary to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God of abundance, you have provided for our every need throughout salvation history. Listen to our longings today as we make our prayer to Christ 
our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and wealth of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify this gift, O Lord, we pray, and accept in the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make a false and eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death was celebrated in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, those gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink for me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph his spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Gregory the Great, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our saints, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. I will say, Great Holy Spirit, among Miserere no hobi, I am say, Great all is that has a mundi, Miserere.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
He hath given us, O Lord, bread from heaven, and thou withhold the light and sweetness in every taste. Let us pray. Accompanying with constant protection, O Lord, those who renew with heavenly gift, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Master Sunday. And you have a blessed day.